I didn't, oh, are we rolling? Sorry, shouldn't say that. Hello, sir. Uh, I hope that I get paid this time. Here we go. Okay. Are we rolling? Oh, okay. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> Introduction to Volume 1. This report is submitted to the Attorney General pursuant to 28 CFR section 600.8C, which states that at the conclusion of the Special Counsel's work, he shall provide the Attorney General a confidential report explaining the prosecution or declination decisions the Special Counsel reached. The Russian government interfered in the 2016 presidential election in sweeping and systematic fashion. Evidence of Russian government operations began to surface in mid-2016. In June, the Democratic National Committee and its cyber response team publicly announced that Russian hackers had compromised its computer network. Releases of hacked materials, hacks that public reporting soon attributed to the Russian government, began that same month. Additional releases followed in July through the organization WikiLeaks, with further releases in October and November. In late July 2016, soon after WikiLeaks' first release of stolen documents, a foreign government contacted the FBI about a May 2016 encounter with Trump campaign foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos had suggested to the representative of that foreign government that the Trump campaign had received indications that the Russian government said it could assist the campaign through the anonymous release of information damaging the Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. That information prompted the FBI on July 31st, 2016 to open an investigation into whether individuals associated with the Trump campaign were coordinating with the Russian government and its interference activities. That fall, two federal agencies jointly announced that the Russian government directed recent compromises of emails from U.S. persons and institutions including U.S. political organizations and those thefts and disclosures are intended to interfere with the U.S. election process. After the election in late December 2016, the United States imposed sanctions on Russia for having interfered in the election. By early 2017, several congressional committees were examining Russia's interference in the election. Within the executive branch, these investigatory efforts ultimately led to the May 2017 appointment of Special Counsel Robert S. Mueller III. The order appointing the special counsel authorized him to investigate the Russian government's efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election, including any links or coordination between the Russian government and individuals associated with the Trump campaign. As set forth in detail in this report, the special counsel's investigation established that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election principally through two operations. First, a Russian entity carried out a social media campaign that favored presidential candidate Donald Day Trump and disparaged presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Second, a Russian intelligence service computer intrusion operations against entities, employees, and volunteers working on the Clinton campaign and then released stolen documents. The investigation also identified numerous links between the Russian government and the Trump campaign. Although the investigation established that the Russian government perceived it would benefit from a Trump presidency and work to secure that outcome, and the campaign expected it would benefit. It would benefit electorally from information stolen and released through Russian efforts. The investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. Hmm. Got all that? Good. Because <clears throat> here we describe the evidentiary considerations underpinning statements about the results of our investigation and the special counsel's charging decisions. And we then provide an overview of the two volumes of our report. The report describes actions and events that the Special Counsel's Office found to be supported by the evidence collected in our investigation. Hmm. In some instances, the report points out the absence of evidence. 
or conflicts in the evidence about a particular fact or event. In other instances, when substantial, credible evidence enabled the office to reach a conclusion with confidence, the report states that the investigation established that certain actions or events occurred. The statement that the investigation did not establish particular facts does not mean there was no evidence of those facts. In evaluating what other evidence about collective action of multiple individuals constituted a crime, we applied the framework of conspiracy law, not the concept of collusion. In doing so, the office recognized that the word collude was used in communications with the acting attorney general confirming certain aspects of the investigation's scope and that the term has been frequently been invoked in public reporting about the investigation. But collusion is not a specific offense or theory of liability found in the United States Code, nor is it a term of art in federal criminal law. For those reasons, the office's focus in analyzing questions of joint criminal liability was on conspiracy as defined in federal law. In connection with that analysis, we address the factual question whether members of the Trump campaign coordinated the term that appears in the appointment order with the Russian election interference activities. Like collusion, coordination does not have a settled definition in federal criminal law. We understood coordination to require an agreement, tacit or express, between the Trump campaign and the Russian government on election interference. That requires more than the two parties taking actions that were informed or responsive to the other's actions or interests. We applied the term coordination in that sense when stating in the report that the investigation did not establish that the Trump campaign coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. The report on our investigation consists of two volumes. Volume 1 describes the factual results of the special counsel's investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election and its interactions with the Trump campaign. Section 1 describes the scope of the investigation. Sections 2 and 3 describe the principal ways Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election. Section 4 describes the links between the Russian, the Russian, hmm, the Russian government, huh, the Russian government, and individuals associated with the Trump campaign. Section 5 sets forth the special counsel's charging decisions. Volume 2 addresses the President's actions towards the FBI's investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election and related matters, and his actions towards the Special Counsel's investigation. Volume 2 separately states its framework and considerations that guided that investigation. And I think that wraps up the intro. Donald Trump ignores me and I don't know why Everything the Trumpster hates rolled up into one guy I'm sleepy and I'm nasty and I'm shady too But not Rick Hughes like Sessions Was his name a goo? Just like Crooked Hillary or maybe Lion Chuck But no matter what I try Don don't give a fuck But I ain't no nervous Nancy or no sleazy Adam Schiff Someone tell me how to get this ass to give a shit I'm all for higher taxes and I'm all for higher crime Think cheating Obama did the job just mighty fine I like 
crazy Bernie, I like Pocahontas too. Just like Dickie Durbin, I ain't your mama's fool. Donald Trump ignores me and I don't know why. I'm everything the Trumpster hates rolled up into one guy. Lying, leaking, heartless, slime ball, slippery, sanctimonious, here for all to see.